Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna be doing the finale of our 100% Majora's Mask run. That's right, we're gonna go to the moon. Are you guys ready to go to the moon with me? I'm ready to go to the moon. Okay, game is going. Let's get it where you guys can see. The boop, here we go. Okay, all right. Audio, it's, it looks like it might be a little quiet. We'll see when we get into the game. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the last cycle. We're gonna start our last cycle of the game. Oh my gosh. So, last cycle. I think this is the 10th, 10th or 11th cycle that we have done um, in getting all the story out of this game. We've gotten almost every mask. There is one more mask we need to get. Um, there's two, the audio is fine. Okay, good, thank you, Koneko. There's uh, two more little heart pieces before we go to the moon, okay? that we need to get. So the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna show the Happy Mask Salesman our, uh, our new masks that we have not shown him yet. So that's gonna be Cafe, um, Keaton, and um, let's see, it was the couple's mask, the couple's mask. Okay, oh, wait, I gotta take my bunny. I gotta take my bunny. Um, couple's mask, there we go. Okay, let's go show him, let's go show him. All right, happy mask salesman. What do you think of this one? That's mask. That's Cafe's mask, isn't it? The worry of a concerned mother is expressed quite well in that mask. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay, so that mask has the, the worry of a mother for her son. Let's see about the Keaton mask. That's mask. Mm -hmm. That's a Keaton mask, isn't it? It carries a lot of nostalgia. It was popular with children long ago. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I am looking for. The game's a bit loud, actually. Okay, let me turn it down. Okay, I think that that probably might be right. It looks like it's not drowning me out now. Okay. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. Okay, and the couple's mask. My favorite mask in the game. This mask is so beautiful. Let's see what he has to say about this one. That's better. Okay, sweet. That mask. That's the couple's mask, isn't it? That is truly a very fine mask. It's overflowing with powerful feelings of love and gratitude. You have done some good work. You went to a great deal of trouble, didn't you? Thank you. Thank you for recognizing how hard it is to get that mask. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay. Um, don't worry, sir. We are working on it. So there are a couple of more things that we have yet to quite to do. So we can't just skip straight to the end where um, we would finish out the game. We do need to go and do a couple of things in Clock Town here. So the first thing that we are gonna have to do is we're gonna have to, oh, I did it again. You're, it's not here, it's, no wait, no, no, wait. this is right, this is right, okay. We have to wait for the mayor's office to open because uh, we need to go talk to him. So I want everyone to remember that when we very first started this game, we went into the mayor's office and we witnessed an argument between the mayor and the Builders Guild and the Knights about whether everyone should stay or go, whether they should order evacuations and things of that nature. It's a very heated argument. Um, they did not agree, and the mayor really didn't know what to do. He knew he knows he needs to make a decision um, to help save everyone, but he doesn't want to pull the trigger. He wants to make sure he's doing what's best for everybody in town, and he doesn't really know what that is or how to decide that. Well, we now have the power to help him decide what to do to help everyone in the town with the tragedy that's about to happen. So we're going to do exactly that. And we have to wait until 10 a.m. for this to open and for that to roll around. Um, because of the small amount of things that we have left to do, there is going to be some waiting this time around, uh, just like we did during the Anju and Cafe episode last week. Uh, we are going to be skipping as much as we can, but since this is the N64 version of the game, we cannot unfortunately skip to specific hours like you can 
in the uh, 3DS remake of this game. So there are going to be times that we're just like hanging out, chilling, kind of like waiting. You know what I mean? So that is going to be that is going to be some of what we are working on today. So it's almost 10. We've got eight o'clock. So just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer and we'll be ready. So yeah, to more fully answer the question that was asked earlier about what kind of games we play here, it really is like games with good stories. So that's what we focus on. So we play a lot of like RPGs and things like that. This is the first uh, Zelda game that we have played because in my opinion, it is the Zelda game with the best story. Now I know that uh, Tears of the Kingdom is apparently very story heavy, but um, to answer, since we're playing a Zelda game, to answer the other question you might be thinking of, uh, I've not played Tears of the Kingdom. The reason why is because I really didn't like Breath of the Wild too much. It just wasn't my type of Zelda. Um, I do prefer un unlocking the items and then overusing the item. <laughs> I think like that game formula and going into the dungeons with that is my preference. So yeah, okay, it's almost 10. It's almost 10. Gorman, there's Gorman. We can get in very soon. Come on, let us in. Okay, so we're not we're not gonna go to the left this time. We're gonna go, or sorry, we're not gonna go to the right this time. We're gonna go to the left. So you can come in here and you remember they were arguing. Well, let's have a different conversation this time. Ah, 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 couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple's been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What'd you just say? Yes, everyone, we're all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay to guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that's for people to decide on their own. Oh. So ultimately, the mayor's decision is to not force people to do one thing or the other. They're free to evacuate if they wish. If they can't bear the thought of evacuating, he's not going to make them. The town is gonna to be gone and he's realizing that. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are also stubborn, it's shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. And for that, we get a piece of heart. So this is one of the piece of hearts that we had not yet gotten. You get it after you get the couple's mask. Well, I might be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. Okay. So now we helped Mayor Dotour, and we saved the mayor from a tedious meeting. I understand. Like, I also would like to be saved from tedious meetings. All right. So we can take that off now. And we're going to come over into here. I don't think you have to talk to her because we've already got the mask, but you can like still do that if you would like to. Really, the next thing that we have to do is over in the Stockpot Inn at um, at 210. So really, we're going to we're going to follow the postman here. We're going to follow him because we have to talk to Anju after the uh, the postman delivers the letter. So we're still gonna have to do a portion of the Anju and Cafe's quest for this last thing that we're gonna do. And um, in spoilers, we're gonna help the postman out. So the postman is the last person in Clocktown that we can help improve his life, and we have yet to do so. So we know he's suffering, we know that he's on the clock all the time, and we know how badly he feels about this. He, he doesn't know what to do. The moon is following, falling, but evacuation is not on his schedule. And, uh, and he feels crushed by the weight of his responsibility there. I think that this story can be very relatable to, to you if you are of working age and how work can make you feel that that is the most important thing above your life, above your happiness, above those you care about. It's a very common feeling to feel obligated to your work in ways that are maybe not reasonable. And this is exactly what the postman is feeling. So we're gonna help him out. All right, so he's going now inside. He's gonna go sort the mail. And uh, and once he's done sorting, he's going to deliver a piece of mail to, uh, to Anju, as we know. So we're gonna go over to the Stockpot Inn so that we can, uh, we can meet him over there. All 
All right. So we do not necessarily need to steal the room from the poor Goron this time. So we are not going to do the thing where we turn into a Goron and we talk to Anju. It's not necessary. He can have a room tonight. Okay. We don't have to do that. <clears throat> There's one of those little cow statues that, uh, that Keaton asked us about. They, they're, they are all over town. The banker has one. Several of the shops have them. There's 10 in total. There's 10 in total, but they're all over. There's one in the swordsman area as well and several other places. So yeah, we're just going to be waiting here until about 2.10. So we're at like, what, 1.15 right now? We're going to wait just a few more minutes. I hope everybody is having a lovely, amazing, beautiful weekend. Um, you're probably seeing Father's Day advertisements everywhere. So next week is actually Father's Day. So if you're trying to plan something for Father's Day, don't forget it's next Sunday. Okay, it's not this Sunday, it's next Sunday. So whatever it is you're gonna plan, um, you probably wanna get on that, you have one more week. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll remind you guys again next week to make sure to uh, message or call your dads to say happy Father's Day. Uh, if you have a dad worth doing that for. All right, so there's the postman. He's giving Cafe's letter to Anju, as we know. And uh, once he leaves, you want to put on Cafe's mask and talk to her, just like we did before. You're also looking for Cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Okay, so now that we have done that, there's nothing else we need to do during the first day. So we are going to actually skip to the first night. All right, so let's get our ocarina. That was on the right screen already. Okay, ocarina, and we need to play the song of double time. I feel like I do it too fast and it doesn't register the first note or something. All right, we're going to proceed to the night of the first day. All right, night of the first day. So a scene, another scene I haven't shown off is um, is in here. You can watch this scene. Where's my where's my, There it is. You can watch this scene between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m when they officially open. So if we come down here, we don't have to wear this anymore. We can talk to Gorman and we can get a little bit more information about him. What are you staring at? Sounds like your show has been canceled. You don't really need to be here anymore. I came to drink. I'm I'm a customer. Well, then customer, the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. Please wait till then. And besides that, this bar is for members only. Those without proof of membership will be refused entry. Well, then I don't need milk. I just... I just want to sit and think for a while. Just give me a place to do that. Fine. Be my guest. All right. So Gorman is very, very upset about what he learned that day, that everything is canceled and that the festival is not going to go on. Very, very sad. So that was a scene we hadn't quite seen before. So now what we need to do. Oh, I accidentally turned my map off somehow. Forgot how to turn it back on. Just the button. There it goes. Okay. So we do need to get out some rupees because we're going to make a purchase. Give me some rupees, babe. We're going to withdraw this time. I know we've deposited so many, but we're going to actually withdraw. We're gonna get 200 rupees out. Yes. I've already deposited all I'm gonna deposit. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So then we're gonna go back to the milk bar. We have to wait for 10 p.m.
We have to wait for 10 p.m. for them to officially open. So we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. Remember when we got on stage and performed? That was fun. Yeah. I hope you like my song. That's the best Link can do. That's his favorite heart song. I like the back of the bar graphic. It's very pink. And I want to drink out of those cow cups. And I want to try all those. They look beautiful, delicious. I like to think those are different kinds of milk. We have banana milk, strawberry milk, and blue milk. I don't know what blue milk tastes like. I did have it at Disney. It was okay. It was kind of like citrusy, but I don't know like what flavor it would be normally if it's not Star Wars blue milk. Maybe Chateau Romani actually has a blue tint or something. Whee! There's also these cow masks on the side here. That's kind of funny. So yeah, we just wait. We just wait till 10 p.m. when they actually open. Blue milk comes from like likes. That's amazing, Rigodon. I think that's probably true. I think that's probably true. How have you been, by the way? How have you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You're kicking me out. You're kicking me out. But I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back, my dude. I know, 10 p.m. We're going right back in. I guess for an hour, he kicks us out to, like, clean the place or something before they officially open. I know this because I once milked a like like. The heck how? How? Tell me about it. I would like to I would like to hear the this tale. <laughs> I would like to hear this tale of like like milking. <laughs> yes. Welcome back, by the way. You were here last stream? Last Majora's Mask Cream? Majora's stream the one before that. Something like that. Something like that. You don't want to know the details? I do want to know the details. I would not like like to hear the tale. <laughs> I'd go to therapy afterwards. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it was a while ago. Did you feed it? Did you feed it a shield first? Oh wait, it's 10. Oh my gosh, I got so distracted. I got so distracted thinking about milking like likes. Whew. Okay, so we're back in here. So the whole reason we're coming in here is because we are actually going to purchase some Chateau Romani. We're going to need this, and um, and so we're going to have this. Yep. Okay. We'll act worry about actually drinking it later, but we needed to go ahead and get that. All right, so now it's time to go meet Anju. Now, because we did not get the key... It's not gonna let you into the stock pot in, so we have to use our secret entrance that we haven't used in a really long time because we would always go get the key to get the rupees. But we're gonna we're gonna secret entrance our way in. So that scene, that whole part with getting the key from the Goron is like kinda sort of required, but not really, because you can sneak in this way. That's the method we're gonna use this time. Now, if you actually stay in the stock pot in till like their closing time of 8 p.m. Anju will literally kick you out. Like she'll just she'll just literally be like, it's closing time, get the fuck out, and then you'll have to get out. So that's what happens if you end up staying in here. We're gonna wait for her to come around. I can hear her footsteps. I can hear her footsteps. There you are. Hey Anju. I'm ready for you. Poor girl, she walks so slow. I was here a while ago. Gotcha. Okay. Is she done walking? She's done walking. Okay, let's talk. I'm so sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. See, this isn't really any different than what we saw before. She's going to tell you about the letter, and um, her clue is that, like, he is alive, he's somewhere, she doesn't think that he, like, truly ran away, da da da, -da. we know all this. Okay, so we're going to go find him, because she wants to know how he's doing. And there we go, letter to Cafe. All right. 
and we have to mail it. So she went to bed now, and we don't need to be in here anymore. And that's it for night one. That's all the things we have to do. So we are going to skip again to day two. On to the second day, yes. And you can put the letter in any mailbox. We'll go ahead and put it in this one this time. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we basically have to wait till 310 um, at the laundry pool. So what we are actually going to do is soar over to the Zora area because this is something that you might want to do depending on what you're doing for the game. Now, if you're doing a 100% run like I am, this is super not necessary. <laughs> super not necessary, but if you're not doing a 100% run then you may want to come over here and get your fairies um, in your bottles. And this is a very, very easy place to, to farm for fairies. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you can come over here and let's put our bottles like this. So you can get the fairy from that jar. And the reason why right here is such a good spot is because you can just run in here you can go to the zone line and right back out and then it's going to respawn. So it's really easy to make the pots respawn right there. So you can just collect them up. Very simple. And we're going to go ahead and do that even though I am i don't think we're going to use any of the fairies. But why not? It gives us something to do while we wait for 310 to come around. Because <laughs> it's not until 310, remember, that Cafe... Uh, comes out that the letter is delivered and you can kind of get in there. And we do need to get that pendant of memories. I love the Zora music. Hearing like the few, the first few notes of the Zora Hall, it's nice. Oh, did not mean to jump in the water. Get up there. Get up there, little Link. I'm very sure you don't need them, yeah. You definitely don't if you're doing a 100% run, like I am. Um, it is so not necessary. But if you don't have all the masks, um, it might be beneficial to have a decent amount of fairies going into the final fight. All right, let's get those off of our bar. So, uh, whatever. There. Aw, the game thinks we're gonna bring the turtle over. Sorry, game. Sorry, we're not doing that. We're going back to Clock Town. Heading over to the laundry. It wouldn't be fairly hard to meet them, though. <laughs> Y'all cracking me up. All right. So just like before, we're just gonna hang out here until 3:10. Um, this is, I think, the longest like wait we have to do. We're gonna and we're gonna have to do another one on day three, but it's not all the way to 3:10, so. This one, you, you wait forever. So, uh, so what y'all doing for dinner today? What y'all, do y'all have any plans? Do y'all have any plans besides hanging out on Twitch? My plans are hanging out on Twitch, and then, um, we're gonna be getting public subs for dinner. They have a new, like, chicken thingy. They have a new, like, chicken thingy that we're gonna try. Um, 
outlet and see what it's called. Publix sub. I can't remember what it's called, but it's with this new kind of like chicken they had in the deli that was really good. We got some of the chicken and we tried it, so. Oh my gosh, why? I'm just loading up the Publix menu. Holy crap, game. Can't handle it. It's too strong. The Publix is too strong. What the heck? Um. Yeah, this one. Where is it? Not the chicken tender sub. Maybe it's not on their online. I don't know, but they had basically this peppered chicken. This peppered chicken that was like so freaking good when we got it. And now they have like a sub of it and it's like, um, it's that and, uh, and Gouda cheese and stuff. And I was like, mm, yes, I would like to have that. It's super hot here today. So I went for a short walk in my new sandals. What? I bet you were zooming along with new shoes. Um, and promptly got a blister because I didn't tight them enough. Oh no. And I got ice cream. Good. Uh, not sure what dinner plans are today, but I'll see you in a bit. That's so good. That's so good. It's really hot here today too. Um, as you guys know, our cats go outside on the back porch, uh, on our, on the, on the patio. We have a catio. Yes. And, uh, and so, so every so often we do have to sweep, even though it's like fully screened in and everything, because just the cat hair alone is like ridiculous. The amount of cat hair. And um, so I had to do that today because it had just gotten really, really bad and we neglected it. So I went and did it and um, oh my God, I was on, it, it took maybe 15 minutes total. Like it didn't take long, you know, it took, I spent more time like moving the furniture around <laughs> than actually sweeping. I think like it, it did not take that long, but after only like the 15, 20 minutes that I was outside, I was like, <sighs> like drenched like oh my god it was so hot like i came inside and immediately had to jump in the shower like it was ridiculous it was ridiculous it's it's like boiling and this was like at nine o'clock this morning it did not the sun had not even been up but for a couple of hours so it was insane ridiculous like i can't believe i was not at back zooming <laughs> i haven't walked on sandals in years and I had to get used to them again they're very cool sandals though i believe in you and now you know make them tighter but you can walk on them better i love flip-flops I would wear flip-flops um, all the time if I could. Work dress code doesn't allow them. So I actually don't wear them as often anymore as I would like, but um, but I do I do love, I do love a, a sandal. I do love a sandal. I have some very nice flip-flops. Um, the brand is Ufos, sponsored, not sponsored. Um, they're like really thick. They're really thick and squishy. They're very nice. I think it's O-O-F-O-S. I think it's like literally UFOs like that. Every time I click on Chrome, this game is like, fuck you. The sound is like, the heck. Yeah, UFOs, O-O-F-O-S. They're good up. I can't wear sandals usually because I have weak ankles, but I need them for a costume. Oh, so then you have to practice walking in them for the costume. That makes sense. That makes sense. For sure. Yeah, I love sandals. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like I, I, I'm trying to get back my walking strength. Like I used to be a really good walker and then COVID happened and then I kinda lost it all. But like I take that when I do go to work, which is only a couple days a week, um, I do take the stairs and stuff, trying to get my walking back, you know, where it's supposed to be or where I think it's supposed to be. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's not 3.10 yet. I thought it, I saw the one and I got excited, but one's, one's not the right time for day two. We're waiting for 3.10. We still have longer. <laughs> so yeah, I wear, I wear a lot of flip-flops. I wear a lot of sandals, but I have like, I, I try to get like thick ones, you know, ones with like big thick soles. Like I have some heel like sandal shoes and they're crop brand actually, but they're like really, you know, really thick and chunky. Um, even though it's not the, well, I don't know. Maybe it is because it's kind of coming back. I was going to say, even though it's not the fashion anymore, I still want like the chunkiest heel in the world from the 90s, you know, in early 2000s. Like that's my ultimate shoe desire. So whether it's like closed toed shoes or sandals or flip flops, like I want the chunkiest, thickest um, heel that I possibly can have. Um, I don't know. Is that coming back? I know a lot of like a lot of the 90s stuff is popular with Zoomers. Do they do they like the chunky heel? Is that part of it? Cause that's what I still wear. I never got over it. I never stopped, you know? Can't stop, won't stop. 
have to have the chunkiest heal in the world. I feel like my footrest is in the wrong spot. Oh, there. Okay, that's better. That's better. It was definitely in the wrong spot. There's the postman. Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be in there soon. Bell, ring my bell. Okay, there he is. Cafe. Go get your letter, my dude. Go get your letter. Okay. And here we go. We sneak in. Cause Cafe doesn't lock his door, as we learned last time. He just doesn't do that. He only locks the door when he's inside. He does not lock the door when he's not inside. And then we just wait for him. Come on, Cafe, I need your pendant. I need your pendant. I need it. There he is. Okay, and then we're gonna talk to him. And this is the same interaction as before. It's not any different, but we have to talk to him again because we still need the pendant of memories for what we're trying to do. Yes, he's cafe, we know. With his red eyes. The red eyes let you know that he's not supposed to be a kid. He's actually supposed to be a Bishonin. So the red eyes are our clue. Now we know in reality, he's a Bishonin. Yes, give us the pendant. Yay, we got it. Pendant of memories. Okay, so that's it. That's what we need. So then we're going to go back to Anju. And we got to give her the pendant. My nose is so itchy today. Whee! Whee! Anju, I have a gift for you. You wanted to know how Cafe is, I can tell you. It just so happens that actually, I did meet him. Here you go, this for you. Gift from Cafe. Yes, okay. So she says thank you very much. And that is all we need to do on day two. So now, we can skip ahead. Actually, all the way till day three, because there's nothing we have to do on um, on night two. So we're gonna skip to day three. Yes, night of the second day, I know. All right, dawn of the final day, yes. All right, so now we're gonna head over to the laundry pool. So the other event that we need to do for this is still to meet with, oh, I didn't mean to trigger that. Sorry, my dude, sorry. I was not trying to trigger that. The heck. Sorry, business scrub. Sorry. Can't help everybody. All right, so we gotta come to the laundry pool and we are waiting until 1 p.m. now. So we're waiting until 1 p.m. to go into that door. So let's enjoy the fast music. Give, uh, let's just sit on this bench right here. There we go. We're gonna chill on the bench. This is a nice little view. I see why people come here. All right, while we're waiting for, for one o'clock, um, I'm gonna go pee, I'll be right back.
we made it to eight. So we got to wait all the way till 1 p.m. and go talk to the curiosity shop owner to get the item that we for real actually wanted to get. The reason why we've been doing all of these is because we need to get the special delivery to mama. The only way to get the special delivery to mama is if you do everything to make sure that Anju has the pendant of memories. If you don't make sure Anju has the pendant of memories, you're not gonna be able to get the special delivery to mama, which is what we need to help our postman. Um, Cause that's the goal. That's the goal right now is to help out our friend, the postman. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, gots to wait all the way till one. I feel like this quest and Anju and Cafe is like the whole reason, <laughs> the whole reason that um, one of the quality of life improvements in the 3DS version is that you can skip to specific hours. <laughs> and I even Googled, okay, like before we did the Anju and Cafe quest, because I knew this was going to happen for both that stream and this stream, I even Googled if there was some kind of like mod or cheat that someone had made for the N64 version to allow you to skip to specific times like you can in the 3DS version, and I could not find it. So, um, Majora's Mask Modders, hello, hi. Either you've made it and I missed it, or this would be a great opportunity, I think. <laughs> I think this would be a great opportunity. Like I found plenty of mods to like freeze time and things like that, but I couldn't find ones where I could say like, you know, skip to 1 p.m., right? Like on day three, skip to 1 p.m. or whatever. So I think that would be a, that would be a great Majora's Mask mod. Either no one's realized that the, the need might be there for it, or um, it's maybe it's like not really, maybe it's not really possible the way the N64 version is. I don't know. I don't know. But I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. But I did try. So we wouldn't have to be waiting around for this. And I do, I do praise this version of the game compared to the 3DS one. I think some of the quality of life improvements of the 3DS one kind of like remove some of the things that make this game so good and special. But this is one of the ones that I, I actually like fully agree with. <laughs> I think like they were good and right to do. <laughs> so yeah, I do wish we had that for, for these for these rounds specifically. All right, oh, it's almost time. 12 and then we have to wait one more hour. I know also this afternoon soon, maybe in an hour or two, I don't remember the time exactly that it starts. But anyway, what I'm gonna do after stream, um, the Xbox, there's like an Xbox game showcase today. So I'm gonna see want to see how how that goes if there's anything exciting hello alarith how are you doing thank you so much thank you this is the layout that uh for n64 games like this one or also although this is the first n64 game that we have played um but if we played another n64 game i'd probably do something similar but like uh but like maybe with um you know not as much uh with a different background is what i'm trying to say maybe with a different background so thank you so much how are you today, by the way? Oh, it's one. It's one. We can go. Okay, let's go. Let's talk to the curiosity shop owner. Here we go. Hey, sir, what's up? So this interaction is not any different. Yeah, he gives you the special delivery. We, he just skips the keton mask part because we don't... Um, we, we already have that mask. So, uh, so he just gives you the letter and then talks about Sakan. So it's all the same dialogue as before, just with some of it cut. Doing well, chores are mostly done and getting myself mentally prepared for Monday. I love that. I love that. You're at like what, 1 p.m. on a, on Sunday and uh, and chores basically done. What a nice, what a nice feeling, right? What a nice feeling. Okay, so that is the only thing we need to do during the, during the first, yeah, during the, uh, the final day. So we can skip to the final night now, but I'm just gonna walk over to the post office because that's where we want to go right at 6 p.m. All right.
we finished all of our chores too. I did um, the last chore of the weekend this morning, which was sweeping off the back porch. A uh, night of the final day, yes. All right, night of the final day. So instead of me delivering this myself to Madame Aroma, we are actually going to help the postman fulfill his wish. So let's talk to him. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written in the schedule. To me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. Okay, so he doesn't know what to do. He's really stressed out. He feels beholden to his work. Um, so let's let him deliver this special delivery. This is priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. Okay, so he's excited. He has work to do. He's gonna go get his little uniform and we're gonna follow him. We're gonna follow him and see what happens. All right, you can do it, postman. Let's go. Not knowing what to do without your schedule is a problem that I can heavily relate to. All right, let's go, sir. It's time. So because of this part right here, you cannot help Cafe and the Postman within the same cycle. So. This is the big thing that the Anju and Cafe quest really tells us, is that you can't help everyone despite your best efforts. So this is just another example like how we can't help Cafe and the bomb lady, the bomb bag lady at the same time. We also cannot help the postman and Cafe at the same time. It's just not something we can do. All right, dude. Okay, let's witness this conversation. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here. T tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but oh my. Well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something good would come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Uh, understood. Okay, so now the postman is free. He can go. He he doesn't have to follow his schedule. His boss told him, what are you doing? Continuing to work when the sky is falling. Get the fuck out. Just evacuate. It's okay. You don't uh, you don't have to be beholden to work. And uh, and I hope that you all are blessed with uh, with such bosses that would say things like that to you. So if you come out here and talk to him, here's what he has to say. I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free. I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let you have it. And it is the postman's hat. Our last mask, okay? This is the last mask that we have gotten. And look, oh, he's so happy. He's so happy he gets to evacuate. That's amazing. Okay, so here we go. This is the postman's hat. Wow, look at it. We have all the masks. We have all the masks. And when you get the postman's hat, here's what you can do. Uh, you can talk to any of these mailboxes, and uh, and look, it says you're doing a great job. Someone other than a letter has been deposited. Yes, thank you so much for the wow. Thank you. Yes, you got a piece of heart. Okay, so this is it. This is our last piece of heart um, for this. So let's also go to see what uh, what the happy mask salesman has to say about the postman's hat. Let's go. Let's go talk to him. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I know, I know what you have to say about the bunny hood. We've done that part. Okay, let's see about the postman's hat. Why, that's... That's the postman's hat, isn't it? That is a fine thing. It is filled with the joy of freedom. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. So, joy of freedom. The postman's hat is the joy of freedom. So... Remember that about your local postal workers. All right, so that's it. That's uh, that's all. That's all that there is to do in this game before we go to the moon. So um, now we wait. We wait for the time. Um, 
while while we wait, we can go ahead and drink our Chateau Romani. There we go. And you can see it turns our magic meter blue. So now we have um, unlimited magic that we can use for this final uh, this final area. So there we go. You can also check the mailboxes with the hat. No, yes, we did that. We did do that. We got our piece of heart. So I'll show you. So there we go. We've gotten all the pieces of heart that you can get up to this point. So now we wait. Now we wait for midnight when the clock tower opens. So close. Yes, we're almost done. We're almost done with the game. We just have to go to the moon. So we have until midnight to get up there. We're just going to wait for the clock tower to open and uh, and let us in. Now you'll probably notice that it looks like we should have two full rows of hearts. There are some more heart pieces to get on the moon in the final area. So we are going to be getting those as well. There's four more pieces, basically. This is 100%, so we're going to get all of them. If you've not seen the moon before in this game, you're going to be in for quite the surprise. The, the moon area is uh, maybe not quite what you would expect if you've not seen it before. Let's look at, let's look at how close it is. Wow, it's like literally right there. It's right above us. Uh, it's ready to come down. It's just staring down at us. And there's basically nobody here. There's the builder guy. There's the kids. Um, yeah, there's the guy over there. Business scrub. The guards. So, it's few and far between, the people that stayed. Madame Aroma stayed. Here we go. Midnight. The ball dropped, yes. Okay, now we can go inside of the clock tower once again. And we witnessed this scene, which we have seen before, but it's been quite a while. Sis! Tail! Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. That's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. <laughs> Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Well. Okay. All right, it's time. It's time to play the Oath of Order, finally. We've gotten all four, we're gonna do it. All right. You scared? Don't be scared, it's okay. The giants are gonna come help us. Skull Kid should be scared, though. Uh-oh.
they come. Okay, they stopped it. They stopped the moon. Um, it's still way too low, but at least it's not falling anymore. Now what? We did it! It stopped! Sis. Ew! Good, we made it in time. The giant skull worked in the skull kid. Hey, skull kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the skull kid. Hale, why aren't you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? He was lonely. Skull kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's because he doesn't know his place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly, he had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. Admit your stupidity, huh? Yeah, whose voice was that? Puppet that can no longer be used as mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. It can't be. Then that moon. <sighs> Into the mouth. I shall consume. Consume, consume everything. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hurry. The Song of Time. The Song of Time. Oh no. You've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. I won't do it. You go by yourself. I'm staying here with Tail. I'll go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is something wrong with you? I don't always want to be running away. If only I had been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... <sighs> you know. I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn. Just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. And there we go. Into the mouth as well. And this is the moon. This is the inside of the moon. Um, time has stopped in here. You will still feel the rumblings, but you actually have unlimited time inside of the moon to complete these tasks. So yeah, we're going to complete them. I hope you have a good dinner, Koneko. I hope it's delicious. Uh, clipping. Yeah, there's some model clipping in that scene. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, I am emulating this, so that's where some of it is coming from. But the emulations on the Switch and, you know, in, on other 
consoles and stuff like the truth is it's not much better <laughs> it's not much better so uh so yeah <laughs> so yeah okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to notice that there's children running around with all the different masks of the bosses and then there's majora sitting under the tree so we're going to talk to the adalwa uh, mask kid first ah nice weather isn't it masks you have a lot you too will you be a mask salesman then i'll play with you so the masks give me some okay so you have to give him a mask so we're gonna give him the gorman mask it's not that useful it's okay he can have it thanks you you're a nice person aren't you hide and seek let's play all right i'll hide So then we have a little mini dungeon inside of the moon. Um, in this little mini dungeon, there are two things that we want to do. One, remember we're playing hide and seek. So we want to find the little Adalwa child. Also, there is a heart piece inside of this dungeon. So we are gonna find that particular heart piece. Love these mini dungeons. I love them too, except for one of them. You can probably guess which one if you've been watching this playthrough. But uh, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes doing it live. All right, so we want to jump into that yellow flower, which I totally missed. I just realized. Yeah, I fucked it up. Okay. Um. Yep, we didn't do it. Except goat. Well. <laughs> well. Uh. Yeah. So if you fall, you just kind of go back to the beginning. It's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, we're trying to get into that yellow flower right there. The Zora mini dungeon sucks. I don't mind that one, actually. I really don't. Fucked it up again. I really want to get on the yellow one. Oh, no. Okay. I'm just not paying good attention. Okay, Karen, pay better attention. Yes, this is the one that I want. I'm gonna wait for it to come around. Here we go. I'm waiting, I'm waiting like too long to pop out the stupid flower. That's what's happening. Okay. So I hit the right one that time, but I should have I should have done it when it was like not as close. I'm I'm too slow on my flying. Okay, here we go. Open there. Okay. We're gonna do it like here. Nope. Still messing it up. How am I messing it up? I usually do not have trouble with this one. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I should use like the side flowers? I can't remember ever using them. But let's do that. shoot <laughs> that was just dumb that was just dumb okay anyway let's use the side flower again that made it a little bit easier you really don't need those side flowers i don't know why i kept missing like my timing is just off or something okay here we go I wanted to go for it. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Okay. <sighs> We're going to do it right. I don't know why I'm... I guess it's been a long time since I've really used the flowers very much. I know we used them in the last temple, but... And I guess I struggled with them there, too. There's such a long gap in the game where you don't use the flowers. So I guess I kind of have forgotten how. Or forgotten the timing with them. Okay, we're going to jump to the side. 
All right, here we go. We want to get into this gold one. There we go, into the gold flower, that's what we want. And then we wanna get that heart piece right over there. Because the gold flower makes you pop up way higher. And there we go. Karen! Thank you, yes, okay, we got it. Got the piece of heart. And then there's this gold flower right here. You can just hop into it. Oh, get in there. And then I think, I don't think you can make it all the way across, at least when I've tried it before, I've never been able to. So um, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to make it back to the middle there. I don't know if you can really make that either. We're gonna try, let's find out. Oh shit. <laughs> that spin should have been a dive. That spin should have been a dive. Okay, we're back at the beginning. It's fine, we got the heart piece. We're just trying to get to the end now. We still gotta get in the gold flower though. Okay, here we go. Fly over here. Dive in. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to come back around because I think I'm gonna miss it if I do it right then. Oh, shit. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. In some ways, um, they start out hard and get easier. Because <laughs> actually the second one we're going to do is the hardest in my opinion. I should have done a practice run of these before stream. That's what I should have done, but I didn't. Okay, get in the yellow flower. Oh, shit. My aim is just not good enough. Like, I should be able to just land and dive, but I never can. Okay. Oh, my God. But remember, to beat video games, you do not need skill. All you need is knowledge and persistence. Go for this one. Nope, just fly backwards. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, because I knew it was going to happen again if I landed. Okay, I'm like got my timing all wrong on this. I can land on that one. Over there. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Whee! And then you just come on over here. The end. And then we talk to the kid again. That mask, take it off. And he tells you to... They'll tell you always to take off the transformation masks, because even though you had to do them. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay, so let's give him another mask. Um, the mask of sense, also not so useful, so maybe he can have that one. 
<laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask you a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? Oh, what kind of people are you guys? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? That's a pretty cryptic question. Well, I definitely think of all of you guys as friends. I hope you think of me as friends too. If you don't, be polite and don't tell me. <laughs> Just be polite and let me live in ignorance. Okay, so that is the Adolwa child. Next, we are going to look for the child with goat's mask. Uh, let's see. Fish, that's twin mold. Here we go. Here's goat's mask. Uh, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You two, will you be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the masks, give me some. Okay, so he asks for masks too. But we have to give him um, two masks uh, instead of just one. So let's give him this mask. We have regular bombs. We don't necessarily need the bomb mask. It's okay. More. Okay. Uh, what about this one? Thanks. You're, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. All right. I'll hide. Okay. So the same thing in this one. You have to find a heart piece and you have to find him. So, um, however, the puzzle here is rolling. Um, and we know I cannot roll in a straight line to save my freaking life. So we're probably gonna be doing a lot of repeats here. Hopefully not as many repeats as I just did, but, um, but yeah, so anyway, this is a big reason why I drank the Chateau Romani, is because of using the magic to roll here. Now, you, there is pots that you break open to get the magic. Um, but yeah, now we don't need to worry about it. We can just go over and over and over. Okay. What? Why did I bounce back? I was supposed to bounce to the side. What the fuck? That's not how that one's supposed to go. Oof indeed. Oof indeed. Um, that was not fair. You're supposed to bounce um, to the side. I don't know why it had me bounce backwards. That's, uh, the game is cheating. So let go of the control stick. There you go, that's what you're supposed to do. This, bounce, 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 bounce. Boop. Okay. Let go at the turn. Whew, okay. So we did that part. It was hard. Um, it only took me two tries, somehow miraculously. Don't know how that happened. So then we come to this next part right here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna save state. <laughs> I'm gonna save state. Okay, so if you're not playing on an emulator and you don't have the magical ability to save states, you know, um, or I think on the Switch you can too, Here's what you should do, definitely do next. Roll this way. You can get up here. Okay, and go ahead and enter this door. So then this will be your respawn point where the kid is. But we don't want to talk to the kid quite yet because we still have to, uh, <laughs> we, we have to, uh, to get our heart piece. So that is quite difficult. Shit, and I'm about to fall. Yeah. I'm good at falling. Okay, so let's walk. Walk this way. All right, so over here. And basically, you kind of have to start rolling from around here and you have to do a bunch of turns. It's not just straight rolling where, um, like we did before, where the chest will make us bounce. Okay, we gotta actually, we gotta actually, like, use the stick. So we gotta, we can't just take our fingers off the stick and, uh, and make it work out. I was not backed up far enough anyway. So, um, there we go. Okay, yes, I did another sneaky save state right there. So I think if I go from here, though, I think if I go from here, I'll be far back enough that I'll get spikes. I'm already fucking up. Yep. And then once you finish those hairpin awful turns, 
You have to roll along the skinniest thing ever. So let's see how many tries this takes me. Well. I hate this one. I don't I don't know how to like do this one skillfully. Like I've I've always really struggled with this in every single playthrough. I don't I don't really know how people do it. Shit 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 shit. Shit. I do got this. I we we will get it. We will get it. We will get it. It just might it just might take a few attempts. That run was actually not that bad. I got pretty far down the skinny area before like I started wobbling. Fuck. Didn't turn enough. Fuck. So hard to go straight right there. After you've been turning, get like straightened back up. Haha! <sighs> Did it! Whew. Yes! <sighs> How the heck the Deku one took longer than that? I do not know. I do not know. Something about the power of doing it live that has never happened to me before. This one always takes me like a billion freaking tries. Whereas the other one, um, you know, it takes it takes a few tries, but not as many as it took before. Okay, so now we have to get back. But we got the heart piece, okay? We got the heart piece, which is the, the most difficult part. Okay, so here we go. And this is why. Because now if we fall, we're right back here. It's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, it's okay. So, that, so you definitely want to do that. You definitely want to do that. Okay. Hey, what's up? You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay, so he wants... Two more masks. So let's see what masks can we um, can we give him. I guess you can have um, the postman's hat. We don't really need that, and um, I guess we don't really need Romani's mask anymore either. So you can have those. You can have those. More. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask a question? You. What makes you happy? I wonder. What makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? More cryptic questions. More cryptic questions. Well, hanging out with you guys and streaming definitely makes me happy. And I assume you're here because you're somewhat happy as well. If you're not, um, this is your license to leave. <laughs> Go somewhere that makes you happy, please. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the first two. Um, now it's time to find a uh, fish face. Was that the one I just ran by me? Or is, is this, let's see. What is this one? No, that's twin mold. Okay, it's the other one. This guy. Hey, fish face. What's up? Ah, uh, nice weather, isn't it? Masks. You have a lot. You too. Will you be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the masks. Give me some. All right. So the Georg child would like three masks. Okay. Um, this is getting a little insane, but I guess um, you can have my froggy one and my bird one. Um, you know, I've, I'm, I'm good with those. You can, you can have those. Okay. Um, more, more, more. I guess you can also have the Keton mask. Here you go. Thanks. You're, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. All right. I'll hide. All right. So this one... Just like the others, requires a mask. 
So we would use the Zora mask for this one. You can see it's water and pipes. So there's basically a series of turns here. And um, depending on the way you go, you might either hit the child or a piece of heart. So we're gonna try to get the piece of heart. Um, so that should be left, left, right, left is one of those. That's left, left, right, left. This should be the piece of heart if I did that right. Yes. Okay, piece of heart. Not too bad, right? Now, there's several paths, several different paths that give you the piece of heart. You can find all the different ones online. That's just the one I like to use. And then this will take us back to the front. Dive. Yeah. Now, if you hit a dead end or whatever, like you don't go the correct way, it really doesn't matter because you go right back to the front just like this. So if you don't actually know the paths, this one can be a bit annoying um, because then you have to like keep doing trial and error. Uh, so that might be why some people dislike this one, but I don't mind it too much because I know some good paths. All right, so now we're gonna go left, left, right, right. So left, left, Let's get to the right. 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 Whee! And that's it. Now we're at the child. So this one, to me, is not too bad. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay, so he wants three more masks because he just, he just can't freaking get enough. Well, I guess you can have the giant's mask. Let's give you some creepy masks. Um, this is good, you can have these. Uh, I can't really use the giant's mask outside of, uh, of certain areas anyways. All right, and then you can also have the Garo's mask. There you go. Thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing, what is it? Wonder. Do the right thing. Does it really make everybody happy? So, uh, so yeah. That's another creepy question. That one, I think, is probably one of the more existential questions. Like, no, if you do the right thing, a lot of times people will not be happy with you. Uh, because what feels good and what's right are two completely different things. Okay, last child, the twin mold child. Ah, uh, nice weather, isn't it? Masks. You have a lot. You too. Will you be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the masks. Give me some. Okay, so he wants a whopping four freaking masks. Four masks, okay? So we're going to give him these two. So here we go. You can have these masks. More. More. Um, I guess you can have the couple's mask and, uh, here, you can have the great fairy's mask as well. I put the fairies all together, so I guess I shouldn't need this one either. Okay, and he wants a fourth one. Okay. Yep, let's play. Hide and seek. So, with this one, it's not a mask puzzle. So it's not, there's no transformation mask. Because remember, the transformation mask we got in the final area where we fought Twin Mold was um, the giant's mask, and that's just a regular mask. So you can see they're giving you lots of magic. That's kind of curious. So um, let's go through the door. All right, final foes. So that's what we're gonna do in this dungeon. We are gonna kill things. Some of them easier than others. All right, one down. Like three or four to go. Um, you might want to have the Mask of Truth still at this point because these uh, these stones will give you like clues and stuff. All right, Garo Master. Bitch. Stop firing me. Where to God? We've gotten three hits. I think you need five to kill him. 
for Unamas. Go ahead, bomb yourself. And then we have to hook shot up. Oh, I'm back too far. Or I'm up too close. Gotta go back farther. Here we go. Come on. There you go. And inside this chest is some arrows. You got a bundle of 30 arrows. Yay. Who's next? I'm ready for you, bitch. It's an iron knuckle. Just like before, he takes off a fuck ton of health, so you want to avoid him. We do have double defense now, though, and a fuck ton of hearts, so it's not as bad as before. You can beat him much easier than the first time you fight them. Come on, take a swing. Got him. Doesn't take nearly as long when you have the Great Fairy Sword, huh? Goes down pretty quick. Alright, and we get a kind of curious prize here. We get 10 bomb chews. So this is one of the few times in the game that you use bomb chews. So I think if I do this and look up, where is it? Oh no, it's right there. Okay. So there's this on the wall. And um and yeah, we wanna we wanna blow that shit up. So here we go. Let's try to do that. Aim. I think that should do it. Yep. So you wait for three blinks basically and um and there you go you reveal the eye switch and we got to shoot that shit Boop. and then we can climb up the ladder here we go piece of heart so this piece of heart you basically will always get because you're just gonna walk into it um so yeah I assume they do that because they want you to heal up. So you'll see that that door is locked. Um, but, oh, it's another mysterious little thing on the ceiling. Okay, cool. Um, let's try to bomb chew it. Oh, I didn't mean to do two bomb chews. I meant to look up. Oh, but I'm like, my aim is so off. Okay, anyways, let's get squared up. This is a tiny little room, so it's not that easy to aim. Okay, so I think we still would do one, two, three blinks. There we go. All right, and we need our fire arrows because that's an ice ice switch. Oh, but I gotta, I can't stand in the middle for that. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Oof, rumble, rumble. Now, my understanding is if you run out of bomb chews, you can also play the Song of Storms to get that to crack, but it only works if you run out of bomb chews, and I've never tested, like, what happens if you just shoot off all your bomb chews, but, um, but that's what the internet tells me is true. So, uh, so yeah. All right, here he is. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay, so he wants four more masks, and I have exactly four more masks. Um, isn't that convenient? Uh, okay, so y'all, we're gonna give up this one. Okay, we're gonna give up this one. And um, we have to actually uh, take, no, I didn't mean to go back, shit, shit. I didn't mean to go back. Oh no. I had to take off my bunny hood. I, I was go just trying to take it off. Oh my god. 
Okay, hang on. I think we have to do that puzzle again to get back to him at the end. Ooh, dang it. Okay, where are you? There you are. I forgot to take off my bunny hood before talking to him, and I meant to say no. Uh, yes, yes, we're gonna play. Okay, well, we're gonna kill all those things again. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Dang it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait, it doesn't make you kill them again? You just have to run through it? Really? Huh. I thought for sure I'd have to kill them again. But I guess not. Well, now you guys know what happens if you um, accidentally do that. You don't have to kill them again. Oh, you don't even have to do the bomb tree part again. Okay, so you literally just walk through it. All right, we're gonna take off the bunny hood this time. Yes, he wants masks. All right, so you can have this one, you can have this one, you can have this one. <clears throat> and, um, all right, you guys, it's time. It's time to give up our favorite bunny hood. Unfortunately, we cannot hang on to our favorite mask to beat the game 100%. Um, can I ask a question? Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder. The face under the mask, is that your true face? The face with the bunny hood is the true face, and you have my bunny hood now. I am naked. I am naked. My face is not on. It's a tragedy. All right. Now we have no masks. We've given up every single mask that we have. All the children, they're done playing with us. They're not here anymore. This is the last child, the Majora's Mask child. Everyone's gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Yes. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yeah, let's play that. And we get the Fierce Deities Mask. This is the most powerful mask in the game. Let me show you what it does. Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Okay, we're, ju we're, we're bad. We're supposed to just run. Um, but you know what? This bitch don't run. This bitch don't run. Um, let's, uh, let's put her on and take a look. Let's, let's put her on. Oh, it's a transformation mask. Okay. Wow. We are, um, adult size now. We're adult size, and we're in this, uh, this Technicolor dream world. Oh, it's all the, it's all the remains. Jorah's mask. It's a tentacle demon, actually. It's a tentacle demon, actually. Um, so anyway, here's why we, we want the, the mask, because look at that. You can just B-button shoot it. That's it. <laughs> you just you just B-button, you just Z-target B-button for the win. Um, this, this mask will do anything and everything. You can kill these guys, you can kill Majora. It's whatever. Um, yep. Boop. 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 Yep. And we have unlimited magic, so we can just shoot as many times as we want. Uh, hello? Uh, let me shoot you. Hi. Now, if you don't have the Fierce Deities Mask, then you would use a lot of arrows to kill Majora. So you want to be good with your arrows if you want to do this um, without the 100% with the masks. But once you have the Fierce Deities Mask, this is all you do. Um, hello? Oh, hey! There, got him. 
He still has this very childlike cry when you hit him, even though he's like a very powerful eldritch horror. That phase, his phase is very creepy. Oh, and now he has a head. So Majora's Mask is now his body and he's gonna whip me. He will actually like pull you closer with those whips if he gets a chance, we'll see if he does it. Um, he still can, um, but okay, but no, I hit him fast enough. He didn't get a chance to. Um, he will whip it good if you let him. So every phase of Majora is creepier than the last. That's it. Defeated him. Bye, Majora. was likely one of his first victims. Maybe his last victim. It was always his goal. Here we go. We get a nice promise rainbow across the town. And Clocktown doesn't have to die. Dawn of a new Ah, he's awake! Skull Kid. Yes! Thank you, thank you. We clap for the giants too. It would not have been possi possible without them. Guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. He still thought of me as a friend. I love how they sing the Oath of Order here. me. They didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Did you be my friend too? <laughs> yes, I also like to sniff my friends. You have the same spells. You have the same smell as the fairy killed who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever, or merely a short time. That is up to you. With that, please excuse me. But 
My, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after. So this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Thank you. The link rides off into the sunrise. And everyone gets to enjoy their carnival. Eiji Aonuma and Koizumi largely made this game what it is. I love how Macau being here implies that all Link really did was ride off a little ways and then transform so that the Zora could still have their concert. That he prioritized that for Lulu, letting them have Macau there, even though Macau himself is gone. Letting them at least play together one more time. When you watch this ending scene right here, we're gonna see all of the different scenes, but in your playthrough, you might not see all of them, depending on what masks you got. If there are certain masks you didn't get, um, some of these scenes won't play. They'll just show the mask you missed instead. So we're gonna see all the full uh, ending cinematic, but you might not see all the credits, depending. Yeah, this game is really beautiful, Alarith. I love it so much. Oh, the skull, the skull guys are still fighting. That's so cute. Remember the Dekus? Look, they're getting along with the monkeys now. Everything's okay. The postman's back. He returns. Now that everything's safe. The dancers have their dance. And they get to perform. are all together. Balloons! Romani's able to openly practice with her bow now. And that's good for Kremi. She's okay with it. The bomb shop lady is fine. And all the roosters. You remember him? Our chicken boy? And then you see them performing and oh, he's happy. 
because they everybody got to go on. But Link isn't there for this performance. I like to imagine that Link tells them that Macau passed away and that he was fulfilling that role. And then he shows them their grave. He can play with them one more time so that they can still perform. I love how they show also the um, that guy, the music box guy with the chickens, since he talks about how he used to be in an animal band. <gasps> Look, her do her um, her father is cured. And here we go. This final scene. We're looking from Cathay's perspective at Anju's bride. Ah, uh, and Tingle blocks us. So we can't see for sure if uh, Cathay is an adult or child still. But it doesn't matter because they're going to be happily married either way. I like that they leave that ambiguous instead of making a model for uh, for Cafe as an adult. And then if you remember this from the very beginning of the game about how you reminded the butler of his son and all the transformation masks are of someone that passed away, sealed into a mask, that was his son. He's there mourning his son. So when you were the Deku, you were the butler's son. That's why you reminded him of him so much. And Link goes back to Hyrule for more different adventures. And look, the Skull Kid has all of his friends. He has Link, and he has the four giants behind him. The end. That's it. That's Majora's Mask. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I love this game. I am so glad I got to share it with all of you. Oh, that's okay, Koneko. You can watch um the VOD afterwards. You can watch the VOD afterwards. But yeah, we, we had the Fierce Deities mask, so we beat him up real fast. Okay, you guys. Okay. So for those watching the VOD on YouTube, um, this is the end of the game. We'll be starting a new game uh, pretty soon. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, leave a like, comment down below, all of that. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.